Hello, Kula here. For this video, I'm going to do something kind of fun. I'm going to do my favorite products of September. Uh, this is kind of a type of video I've been really wanting to make. Uh, I love favorites videos. I love watching favorite videos. I know other people like watching favorite videos, so I really wanted to make my own. Um, kind of the thing that's been holding me back is that I tend to kind of just use the same things over and over again, so I was kind of worried um, if I tried to do this kind of on a monthly basis, it'd be the same things, like, this is my foundation again this month. Um, but I really wanted to, you know, show you guys maybe more of like what my favorites are of the new products I've gotten that month from subscription boxes. Um, I'm thinking about getting some more. Uh, you know, right now I do Julep and I do the Blush Mystery Beauty Box for sure. I used to do Glossy Box and I quit. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I might try like Beauty Army or Ipsy or even like a Birch Box. Just kind of something to try new things and kind of show you guys what I've been using that month and what I've been loving for that month. Um, but I'm going to start off with my September one. Some of the products I have are products I got this month. Some are products I've been using for a while now. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys some stuff I really like. So, yeah, I'm super excited. So we're just going to get right on into this. Uh, I'm going to start um, with my favorite lip balm ever right now. This is uh, Fortune Cookie Soap's Lip Balm in Cupcake. Uh, I know I talked about this in my last video, my like mini fortune cookie soap haul, and I've talked about this lip balm before, but I really love this lip balm. It's, it's so creamy, it's so moisturizing, it has really good ingredients, if you can see down there, like there's no parabens, no mineral oils, no petroleum in it, it's really great. It makes my lips feel fantastic, it doesn't irritate them, which is something I kind of struggled with with lip balms for a while there, and the cupcake scent is amazing. Uh, it's also really affordable too. It's only like three dollars and fifty cents for this. Um, another lip balm I do really like, but it's very expensive. Is by Fresh. It's like their sugar lip balm. That stuff's amazing, but that is way out of my price range. Um, but this is great if you're looking for a really good lip balm. Get this one. Uh, they do make other flavors as well. I guess scents, they don't ever really have a flavor. The only other one I've gotten is the In the Loop one, which I did not like as much as Cupcake. But I do want to try the other ones as well, but for now, Cupcake is like the queen of lip balm. So there is that, my very first favorite. Uh, next favorite is a product that I've also talked about in videos before. Uh, it is just my number one nail product ever, and that's Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream. I've tr I, I have a lot of nail products now, especially thanks to my Julep subscription, and they're great, and they do, you know, what they say they're going to do, but nothing has compared yet to this product here. It just, you, you, I put it on, and just immediately it absorbs in, it doesn't leave any kind of greasy feeling. It does make your fingers smell kind of lemony, but like in a pleasant way, not in like I just waxed my floors way, and it, it is the only thing that really immediately softens and you know, makes my fingernails and the cuticle areas around them just look amazing. Like, it's just, you know, this kind of like a waxy substance here in the tin. You just rub your finger around in there, warm it up, and rub it in, and you're good to go. It's amazing. Like, it does wonders. Like, even boys, I recommend, like, using this on your hands because you will have really nice-looking hands. Girls appreciate really nice-looking hands, and it's still pretty manly. So, this is definitely a product I recommend everyone go out and buy and use it as part of just any kind of grooming routine. Next, I'm going to do a lip product. This is Tarte's Complexion Brightening Lipstick in Fair to Light. This came in a glossy box. I forget which one. And what it is, it is a lipstick with a color core surrounded by like a nude color. So it's like this pinky core with this nude color around it. And I do believe it comes in different shades since I said this is fair to light. So I would assume they'd have like a medium to dark one as well. But kind of what it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be like a your lips but better color. Like it, it looks natural but it still makes you look really polished. Which I really like. Like I'm not a big lip person. Like I don't, like I only own like two lipsticks. This and MAC Snob. And... Uh, this is just what I go to. Like, whenever I do a look at all, like, I don't like to make my lips really stand out. 
and this makes it look polished, it makes it look put together, it makes it look like I tried, but it doesn't overemphasize anything. And in fact, it just kind of softens and makes everything look so much better. So if you want like a nice neutral or a nice like subtle lip color, but still want to wear lip color and look polished and clean, like I highly recommend this. And it feels really nice on too. Like it's it's creamy, It's it doesn't dry out my lips. I don't feel like I have to constantly reapply it. It's an overall really great product, and I really love Tarte's products as well, so that's definitely something I would recommend. Let's see if you can, I can't really tell if that's focusing or not, but. So there's that one. Next, I'm gonna do my foot cream. I know it's kind of a weird thing to have as a favorite product, but I got this in my September Blush Mystery Beauty Box bag thing. And I know it sounds weird to have like, I love this foot cream, but I love this foot cream. Um, it just really makes my feet look nice, feel nice, and feet are kind of one of those hard beauty things. Like nobody ever really talks about their feet, nobody ever like wants to show their feet. Feet are just kind of weird, they're just weird hands basically. But this really helps like my summer calluses go away. Um, I know wintertime, like, you don't really show your feet off much, but just having, like, nice, soft, well-manicured feet just makes you feel really good about yourself, makes you feel really complete, and it's just, this cream is really nice, like, it, like, it, it really delivers, um, it does use, like, the alpha hydroxy acid to exfoliate, um, and it doesn't have a, like, a gross pepperminty smell, like, it's an unscented formula, which is really nice, because a lot of times foot products, I feel, kind of overemphasize the peppermint and then it just smells gross and like your feet are candy canes or you dipped it in gum or something and it's just fakey and I don't like it like I really tend to avoid like the super pepperminty creams so this is really nice like and it's not like a weird smell either it's not like sometimes with unscented products you get that medicinal smell it almost has kind of like a brown sugary smell to it it's just it, it's pleasant and it's not overpowering and it doesn't make your feet smell like candy canes so I really like this foot cream uh, next, I'm going to do another cream just to stick with the theme, and that is Fortune Cookie Soaps uh, I Am What I Am, so the Marshmallow Whipped Cream. This is a new scent for fall that they included in their fall soap box, and I love this scent. I also just love their whipped creams in general. Um, I guess maybe that could be the favorite product of the month, it's just all of Fortune Cookie Soaps whipped creams. They're just, they're really great body butters, they're, they're, they're thick and creamy. You don't need a lot. Oh, I can smell this like right now. Like just opening that just, oh, it smells so good. But they're smooth, they're creamy, they're not greasy. They absorb really quickly. They make your skin feel really nice and they leave behind a nice subtle scent. It's not, you know, if you have like a floral, like sometimes I know with some of Lush's products, if it's a floral, like you smell it all day and you kind of smell like a garden and sometimes it can be overpowering. I feel with most of Fortune Cookie soaps, like the scent settles out, it's very gentle, like you have to put your nose right up to your skin to smell it. And I just, they're really great products and this scent, it's, it's pumpkin spice, marshmallows, and yams and it just smells like sweet potatoes, which is my favorite thing at Thanksgiving are like the marshmallowy baked sweet potatoes. It's just oh so good. It's just I love it. Love this product. Love whipped creams. I would also you know if you're gonna buy the lip balm, check out their whipped creams too because I believe they have flat rate shipping now and it's like seven dollars. So it doesn't matter like how little or how much you buy. So definitely would recommend that product. Uh, my next favorite is gonna be a brand of products and that's gonna be Zoya nail polishes. I have two samples here to show you guys, these are kind of my two favorites right now in my collection, which is admittedly very small because I unfortunately kind of just discovered the joy of Zoya, but I'm really hoping to add more to that. Uh, the colors I have here are Faye, which I believe is from their main line because I just found it with the other polishes, and it's this gorgeous like golden purple brownie, which, I, you know, this could be a fall appropriate color. I just really love just the shimmer in it and things like that. And then Tomoko which is from their fall collection. It is a pixie dust, so it has like that super sandy, sparkly, gritty texture, and it is just, it's a really gorgeous champagne color, and would be really good to transition into winter as well. Um, but I just love Zoya polishes. Uh, the formula is great. They go on beautifully. They dry quickly. They come in so many colors. If you just go to the Zoya website, like, you can see all the colors they have, and they're just, it's amazing. 
and I mean even I even just love these bottles like they're just so sleek and smooth and just so luxurious looking and like the best part is that they're priced at kind of a mid-range polish so they compare to OPI so they're like eight to nine dollars a bottle depending on what finish you get and I just for that price like you're getting really good quality polish so I highly highly recommend checking out Zoya polishes if you haven't already Next favorite is going to be uh, this Nourishing Dry Oil Mist by C. Booth. This is another Glossy Box sample. This is one of my favorite things I've ever received in my Glossy Box. Uh, at first I was a little like unsure of it, but what it is, it's like it's a dry oil mist for your face and body. I have not used it on my face just because my face is sensitive and I don't, I guess still don't trust it, but I use this on my body and it's, it's, it's a really nice dry oil mist. Like it absorbs immediately. Like the second you put it on, which is really great about like the great thing about dry oils is that they you don't need to leave time for them to soak in, which can be kind of irritating if you're in a hurry. But you know, you just do a couple spritzes, rub it on, you are good to go. It leaves my skin soft and hydrated, and it leaves a very subtle, like the honey almond scent. In the bottle, it smells kind of medicinal and it smells weird, but on your skin, at least with my, you know, pH and composition, it almost makes me smell kind of like sexy honey nut Cheerios, but like in a really good way, if that sounds weird. But it's, it's just... It's a really great product, and I'm almost out, as you can see. That's kind of how much I love it. It does last a long time, though, because you only need a couple spritzes. But I've been looking for this product, and Ulta carries this brand, but they don't carry this product either in-store or online, if I've, online, as I have seen. Um, pretty much the only place I found it was drugstore.com. And granted, it's only like $7 for a full-size bottle. This is about a half size. But I just don't like paying for shipping. So I'm really hoping I can find... Excuse me, sorry, I just got off work, so my voice goes in and out. So I, I do apologize for sounding kind of weird. Um, but if you know of anywhere, like a physical store, like if Walgreens or like CVS or something carries this brand, please let me know because I do want to get another bottle of this because I love it so much. So there's that. And then my final favorite, it's going to be um, the Herbal Essences Shampoo. This is the Smooth Collection. This is the one with the rose hips. Um, I, this has been around forever. I, I didn't realize this, but I guess they stopped making this and then they just brought it back or something. I don't actually have, like, television. We just use Netflix and Hulu and stuff just because it's way too expensive for what it is. So when we were in Seattle, like, we would just watch TV in our downtime. And I saw a commercial for this. I, you know, like, the herbal essences, like, orgasming and the shower commercials they used to do in the olden days. And it really reminded me, like how much I loved this product when I was little. Like, this kind of has a story behind it, and I'm just going to make this quick because I want this to come in under 15 minutes, hopefully. Uh, but when I was little in elementary school, I had a friend. She was my best friend. And this is the shampoo, and she would also use the conditioner as well. And this, this would be what she would use. And it would just... I loved the smell of it so much. Like, I just... I wanted it so bad, and I couldn't buy it at home just because like this was considered kind of more of like a luxury shampoo and my family wasn't too big on like spending a lot of money on shampoo like we have to do like the the suave rain stuff like the dollar bottles and I was just so envious and every time we would have a sleepover um, and I'd be able to take a shower at her place I could always use this and it would just it would smell so wonderful and I would just be sniffing my hair all day and it just really reminded me of how much I wanted this shampoo and that now that I'm an adult I can make decisions and I went out and bought it and it actually was working really nicely with my hair like I was really surprised I'm sorry I'm smelling it right now oh it's like this fruity florally fragrance there's not really any rose in it I don't think I hate rose scents as you know so it's just really like a kind of a blackberry blueberry Oh, I just, you know, it almost smells like a grown-up version of a gusher, if that makes any sense. I'm sorry, I'll stop smelling it now. Uh, but, like, it's, you know, not not a high-end shampoo, really, anymore. Like, this is, like, $5 for this bottle. It has, oh, it's made in France. That's pretty cool. It, you know, it has the sulfates in it. It, I don't think it has parabens, though, which is nice. Yeah, there's no parabens. I don't see anything. Um, but it actually 
compared to like even some of the more the higher end shampoos I've been trying out like this actually makes my hair feel really nice like usually if I use a crappy shampoo I know immediately because my hair just mats itself up and with this like it just stays silky it stays smooth and I just really love this shampoo so if you've never experienced herbal essences or if you have in the past and want to be nostalgic with me go out and buy because it, it smells great and it definitely makes my hair feel nice so those are my favorites for September uh, unfortunately not really a lot of like color cosmetics more of like skincare kind of things but I feel like skincare is something I've really been experimenting with lately and these are just kind of the the top contenders right now um, all these products I would highly recommend for you um, definitely go out and buy them and none of them are really that expensive except maybe the Tarte lipstick which I think is like 15 18 dollars but everything else I believe is under 10 bucks so definitely affordable definitely try them out thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video